Hi, this is Oli Han. Welcome to the ICL Assignment 3, Standard Cell Library Creation. So, before we get started, we have to get to know what is Standard Cell Library. A Standard Cell Library is a collection of low-level logic functions such as AND, OR, inverter, flip-flops, latches, and buffers. These cells are realized as fixed height variable with full custom cells. They are able to be placed in rows because they have the fixed height which is, is the process of automated digital layout. So let's make a comparison to have a better understanding of standard cell library. How about taking a look at a furniture store? In a store there are chairs, lamps, couches, beds, and many other furnitures. These items all have been designed, manufactured, and sent to the stores for selling. So when you are moving into a new pretty house, you can just select the ones that you are fond of and put into the empty house. Chairs, couches, lamps, beds, and remember, toilet bolts also. A standard cell library may share the same concept of the furniture store. There's NAND gate, XOR gate, inverter, and flip flop. Now let's take a look at the layout view of the cells that mentioned earlier. And why do we create standard cell library? With the development of the integrated circuit and automation tools, independent blocks are becoming larger and complex. Therefore, there is a need to have a cell library to reduce design time and probability of error in the design. What's more, it may help the designers to solve the problem of crafting complex blocks. Next, I would like to talk about the characteristics of standard cell library and standard cells. Since the standard cell library is created to help the IC layout designers by reducing the designing time and unnecessary manufacturing defect as all the cells have been pre-designed, pre-layout and pre-characterized. It is mentionable that these cells are re realized as fixed height. That is to say, their pitches is the same. VCC are all in the same line and so as the VDD. What's more? Cells in the library should not be modified as it will affect other designs using the same cell. And it's time to talk something about standard cell itself. Basically, there are three characteristics. Separately, there are modularity, localarity, and regularity. The first is to ensure that independent units can be combined with other modules to form different circuits. The second is to minimize detail at parent module and make sure co connection must only be made to predefined locations and external wiring must not encroach on certain area of the sub modules. The last is to divide the design into sets of similar blocks for design implementation. Alright, let's proceed to design flow of standard cell technology. In the flow chart, we can see different steps and different procedures to make our entire flow. For logic flow, it is to capture your design through the schematic or HDL. For netlist, it is to compound the schematic or HDL to interconnection information. For logic simulation, you are to simulate the functionality of your design. And we move on to floor planning. It is supposed to allocate the area of silicon. Next, place the selected cell on the allocated area and connect them with metal routing. Finally, fabricate the design to chips. In the end, let's take a look at the elements that make a good cell library.
All right, thanks for watching. Here are the resources that make the video possible. And again, this is Oli Han. Bye.